Welcome to another video. This is a very interesting exercise. It is easy and we're going to get through it. Let's look at the problem itself. Actually, you've got the same exponent on all of the bases. So you got two, you got three, you got x. And remember in the laws of exponents, whenever a product has the same exponent, it is just smart for you to just put all of them together and get a single exponent. Now, what kind of manipulation you do after that point depends on you and how easily you can see the way out. But this is supposed to be quite easy for us. Let's get into the video. So the first thing we're going to do is put all the bases together as a product. So we're going to say that this is the same thing as 2 times 3 times x, all raised to power x. And we still get the square root of 3 on the right hand side. So what do we get? We get 6x raised to power x is equal to the of 3. Now, can I release the 6 from here? You can't because it belongs here. And if you distribute the x, it means you're bringing x to both sides. It doesn't work. It is stuck with this guy. So what you want to do is... Um, what if we give this its own 6? So that what is in the base is the same thing as what's in the exponent, because that's the way out of this. Always think like that. So if we give this guy its own 6, the only way to do that is to raise both sides to the 6th power. So we could say that 6x raised to power x, then raised to power 6 will be equal to the cube root of 3 raised to power 6. Nice. And see what happens. Here we're going to have 6x. Remember, this is going to be 6 times x. So what we have is 6x raised to power 6x. And what you have on this side is going to be the 3 raised to power 6. Um, let's solve that here. Well, let's write this as 3 to the 1 half. That's 3 to the 1 half raised to power 6. Watch this. This is 6x raised to power 6x. And what is this? This is 3 raised to power 3. Do you see the answer sitting there waiting for you? That's it. So this raised to power this is the same thing as this raised to power this. That means 6x must be 3. over 6, sorry. And what's that? x equals 1 half. Well, that's the solution to this problem. It's a fun problem. It's 1 half. Let's see if our answer is actually correct. Okay, I'm just going to do a quick check. I'm going to go plug in 1 half for everywhere I see x and see what we get. Well, we're going to have, um, let's just, just check. We've got 2 to the 1 half multiplied by 3 to the 1 half, multiplied by 1 half to the 1 half. Well, this is the square root of 2 times the square root of 3. Well, that's um, square root of 2 times square root of 3 times the square root of 1 half, the square root of 1 half. That's the square root of 6 times the square root of 1 half. That's going to be the square root of 6 times 1 half which is equal to the square root of 3. Yay! We're correct. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye. 